Le président, please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Mr. François Ponceau. Monsieur François Ponceau. Before we broke, you told la pause, the court that you took refuge in the French dit, embassy. Vous êtes réfugié dans l'ambassade de France. And then you were evacuated. Ensuite, and you went along National Road number 5, vous avez and then you reached Kilometer 13 in search for your friends who were of foreign nationals and who are Christian, Catholic. Des et qui Catholic. And you intended to bring uh, them back vous aviez uh, to stay in the uh, French embassy at that time. À l'ambassade de France. So you left the embassy along vous avez National Road Number quitté six. Vous avez emprunté la route nationale through two kilometers, uh, kil uh, rather kilometer number six uh, along National Road Number five. La route Who did you go along with at vous that êtes time? Par le kilomètre six. Qui vous accompagnait? There were two Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers and another French national who was a teacher, uh, he was the driver, and lui, there were two soldiers, two Khmer Rouge soldiers, going along with us. And I went uh, along all the way to Prépneu. I did not see Prépneu. anyone uh, along the street, but when I reached Prépneu, I saw seas of people in the paddy fields. Question. Question. What was your observation of the uh, situation along the street when you were traveling uh, down to Great Pneu? Did you uh, notice any dead bodies uh, scattered on the street or people le sol? The uh, along the streets? Response. Je no, pense. I did not see non. any corpses. Je vu aucun I would not say that there were, was no dead bodies, but I je just did not see those dead bodies. Question. When you were uh, traveling to Prague Pneu along the way, did you witness any events, for example, people being arrested par exemple, des by the Khmer Rouge uh, soldiers in order to uh, forcibly evacuate them out of the city? La ville par la contrainte? Response, none. I did not see any, any, anyone, not even the Khmer Rouge soldier, not even the civilians along the street. Question. Uh, did you, uh, when, when you reached uh, kilometer 13 or Prague Pneu, uh, did you uh, uh, went to see the people over there when you saw uh, see the people as you describe it? Uh, did you mingle with them or you just saw them from the distance? Response. I was inside the car. I did not get out of the car because we were terrified at that time. I was terrified myself. Uh, there were uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers carrying rifles. I, uh, I met, uh, I saw people whom I uh, knew. Uh, before, I dare not even talk to them. I only actually signal them through uh, my eye. We use our eye contacts uh, to communicate, but we did not even use words to communicate. Question. Do you, do you recall the date when you went out of the French embassy uh, to break Pneu along with the two Khmer Rouge soldiers? Do you recall the date you went there? Do you recall the date you went there? Do you recall the date you went there? 
response. Réponse. I do not recall it clearly. Je ne m'en souviens pas bien. But it could have been five or six days following the 17th of April, around five to six days following the 17th of April, but I do not recall exactly. Je ne me souviens pas de la date précise. The President, thank you. Question. You said earlier that uh, Vous avez dit on the 18th of April, You stayed in the French Le embassy, is that correct? 18 vous êtes arrivé à l'ambassade de France, est-ce exact? On the réponse. 18th of April, it was the glorious day Le 18 of the Khmer Rouge. Avril était un jour glorieux pour les Khmer Rouge. At that time, we did not have place or shelter Uh, to stay, actually, we uh, slept under the bamboo trees. Nulle part où rester, nous couchions sous les bambous. Question: Can you tell the court uh, the overall condition of your living, uh, particularly people in the uh, French embassy? What was the situation like in the French embassy at the times? And could you tell the court the categories of people who took refuge uh, in the French embassy? And uh, what were the uh, main events that came to your mind or you can still recall uh, when you were staying in French embassy? Response. Uh, in French embassies, Réponse. there were around 500 foreigners, uh, ranging from Americans uh, to uh, the leader of CIA. Chef de la CIA. And there were other foreign nationals. There was one Laotian. There were altogether around 500 foreigners. And there were around 500 Cambodians, too. The Cambodian who took refuge over there, Les the majority of whom were the former, uh, Khmer, uh, former uh, soldier of the previous regime. Uh, I do not recall their names. Uh, there were uh, other uh, soldiers who uh, retreated uh, before the 16th of April. They also took refuge over there. And a few days after that, around the 18th or 19th of April, Now I would like to describe the activities on the 18th and the 19th of April. We talked to uh, military personnel who wanted to uh, seek refuge uh, in the French embassy. And then they told us that uh, actually uh, Uh, the embassy is the uh, sovereign territory of a foreign government. So uh, they tried to seek a refuge uh, in the French embassy. They wanted to stay uh, inside, uh, but uh, uh, we tried to explain them, but they could not understand. And on the 20th, there was one uh, soldier who is uh, in an advanced age already. Actually, he, uh, he Uh, he called a meeting of all nationals who were staying in the uh, French embassy. And he told us that a uh, comrade Kilsampon wanted to meet all comrades uh, here in order to rearrange the revolution. Uh, Kiu Sampon wanted to come to uh, talk to all people in the French embassy, but uh, he was engaged in uh, rearranging uh, the uh, revolution. So at that time, the uh, Cambodian ladies uh, who Uh, got married to a French to French national. They could stay in the French uh, embassy. As war meant, uh, they had to leave. They had to leave uh, the French embassy in order to work uh, with the uh, Cambodian people in general. So on the 20th of April, uh, the situation was uh, depressing because around 25, uh, the 
uh, 25 Cambodian men who got married uh, to French uh, ladies. Uh, they were separated. They had to uh, leave the French uh, embassy. There was one uh, French lady who is very young, and her husband was a former a f former nurse at Calumet Hospital. Uh, she uh, refused to stay in the French embassy. She refused to be separated from her husband, so she had to accompany her husband. She decided to leave uh, the French embassy. And then one of them said, uh, next year or one year, we, in one year time, we would uh, see each other in Zang Elysee. Uh, I could not recall uh, the name of that person. But on the 20th of April, it was the hardest day uh, of their life because they were separated uh, from their loved one on the day from the French embassy. So, and later I uh, learned from others that uh, the uh, Anka were Anka separated the uh, soldiers from the civilians and they had to go in different directions. So they had to uh, leave the embassy compound uh, from uh, that time onward. And I encouraged Ibn Sur, whom I uh, had some uh, sense of affection, I asked. Uh, him. Actually, I knew that they killed some of the uh, uh, soldiers uh, or army commanders, uh, but they did not kill uh, the people. And then on the 19th of April, there were some soldiers standing outside the uh, French uh, embassy compound. Uh, they demanded that uh, the French embassy hand over the seven uh, Super traitor, namely Bonho, Siri Matak. Bonho was the former, former official at the Senate, and Munivand, uh, who was uh, connected to the former King's Norodam Sihanouk. And there was another uh, person uh, whom I do not recall. We wanted to protest, uh, but uh, they actually pointed uh, AK rifle uh, against us. They asked uh, the French embassy to hand over the seven super traitors uh, to them, so we had no choice. Uh, we had to uh, surrender them uh, to uh, to, we did not know uh, what happened to them and their fate uh, afterward. And normally, uh, Khmer Rouge, uh, Khmer Rouge uh, killed uh, those people. I, I heard uh, from others uh, the ways that they were executed, but I did not witness it by myself. But I learned uh, that those people were all executed by the Khmer Rouge by various means. Uh, and then uh, the Khmer Rouge also uh, sent uh, a group of them to the uh, border. And then later on, there were around some 500 Pakistanis. And we were the ones who left uh, the letters on the 7th of May, 1975. We had to. Uh, uh, travel along Et national road number four, parties, nous avons and we reached 4. somewhere before we reached Kampung Spiu province nous of Hang Snul, and then uh, we reached uh, Odong and Omleng, uh, all uh, the way to Kampung Chnang. And in Kampung Chnang, uh, Anka provided us uh, su sufficient uh, food and a friendly uh, to us. And the next morning, uh, we were sent to uh, Posat uh, on the truck. And then we reached Posat, uh, we had to change our truck. And before we reached Batambong, Anka uh, allowed us to uh, 
relax for a few hours and then uh, we had to uh, travel uh, overnight uh, across Bat Dambong uh, provincial towns and then we reached uh, Poi Pat around uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. So from the French embassy all the way to the Cambodian Thai border, I did not see anyone, France, not even the uh, Khmer Rouge soldier, I did not see the civilian. In Phnom Penh, in Odong, Kampong Chnang, Po Sat, all the way, I did not see a single uh, person uh, when we, uh, we thought that we were leaving from a ghost country. I did not see any cops, uh, uh, any dead body. I did not say that they did not kill any people, but I just did not see uh, the dead bodies. The president. Le president. Thank you. Just Merci. now you said uh, that people forced a Vous certain group of people uh, to leave the French embassy. Uh, one group of them is the uh, Cambodian men with French uh, wives, uh, they were supposed to go out to the field to work with the people. And another group is the uh, so-called seven super traitors, and just now you recall only a few of them uh, by name. So my question to you now is that when they were separating the uh, couples, uh, the Cambodian husband with uh, the French wife, how many of them and how did they uh, get them out of of the uh, French embassy, or they simply ordered that they left the French embassy and then they could go anywhere or to the to the countryside, or they use any other transport means in order to uh, take them out of the French embassy. Can you enlighten the court on that? Response: The so-called seven uh, super traitor. I did not see uh, them by my own eyes because uh, Francois Bizot had the, uh, was uh, standing at the uh, gate, but I was Bizeau at the back. I was uh, I only heard there was an announcement to leave, uh, announcement asking them to leave. And I, I heard that uh, Sri Matak at that time was uh, very uh, rather uh, articulate at that time. And as for the Cambodian men uh, who had uh, French wives, uh, they had to leave uh, with all uh, Cambodian civilians. Uh, they left with other uh, civilians. I uh, told the uh, Cambodian uh, who were inside the French embassy, I told them uh, to leave. Um, I uh, to leave the French embassy, or sooner or later the Khmer Rouge would come and get them. So uh, they had better leave. And then, and uh, there was one uh, man uh, who, uh, by the name of Tip, some. Thing like that, I uh, asked him not to leave, uh, and I told him that if he left the embassy now, he would die the next day. But if he stay here, probably he could uh, live uh, two, one or two weeks longer. And then. Some people were uh, taken from the French embassy and they were placed uh, at the uh, a place somewhere around the uh, old stadium. And then the Khmer Rouge uh, separate them, try to segregate them between soldiers and civilians. And I was told that uh, they killed some of those soldiers in the old stadium, but that's what, that was uh, what I heard. Uh, I did not witness uh, the execution myself. Uh, question. You said that uh, Sri Matak, before he Vous left, uh, he Matak met with the uh, French uh, counselor uh, attached to the French Attends embassy. Do you recall the uh, counselor's name? Um, I was the uh, personal interpreters of the counselor. Réponse. 
the French uh, at that time were not clear uh, between the uh, diplomatic relation with uh, London administration before there was the uh, ambassador, but later on uh, the diplomatic uh, uh, relation between uh, Cambodia and French were at the ambassador level at that time, and then later on there were certain uh, problems with uh, the two governments, uh, the London government and Cambodian governments, and then they uh, withdrew uh, the uh, ambassador. The French uh, wanted to recognize the Khmer Rouge because the Khmer Rouge was uh, supported uh, by the uh, then Prince Norodom Sihanouk. So at that time the diplomatic relations were uh, reduced uh, to charge the fair, and there was a counselor, Jean Dirac, and then uh, this, uh, he was, he was uh, demoted to uh, the position of vice uh, counselor only. So actually, at that time, in terms of the uh, diplomatic uh, level between French and London soldiers were um, reduced to the smallest uh, level uh, compared at Donc, that time, because they were waiting for the Khmer Rouge uh, government at that Khmer time, I think, before uh, it was promoted to the ambassador level. Question. At that time, you were the uh, interpreter. Car ils que le Khmer Rouge soit établi. Were there Question. any verbal protest at that time in Vous order that uh, those people could uh, stay in the uh, in the French embassy. Uh, did you observe that there was any diplomatic discussions in relation to how those people who took refuge uh, in the French embassy be uh, treated or prevented from being taken away by the Khmer Rouge? Response. There was no protest, there was no negotiator uh, at all at that time. We wanted to negotiate, but the Khmer Rouge were uh, were not actually ready to uh, negotiate, so there was no uh, negotiation uh, undertaken. Uh, you may ask Mr. François Bizot because he uh, could uh, respond to this question more clearly because he uh, contacted the Khmer Rouge, and as for myself, I contacted with the Cambodians uh, who uh, were in the French embassy compound at that time. As for Mr. Bizot, uh, he uh, had direct contact with the Khmer Rouge uh, at that time. Question. Question. You also said uh, that uh, in the French embassy at that time there were uh, mixed nationalities, not only the French and Cambodians, but could you please uh, tell the court uh, the various nationalities that uh, who, uh, who were uh, seeking refuge in the French embassy at that time? Uh, please, uh, Mr. François Ponceau, the uh, mic is not on yet. Please wait until you see the red light on the mic. Response. There are mixed nationalities. Laotian, I guess uh, some South Vietnamese, Americans, uh, particularly journalists. They uh, stayed in the uh, residence of the uh, embassy. Ambassador, and uh, there uh, were some uh, CIA. Actually, I, I was surprised because the Khmer Rouge was very uh, courteous uh, to foreigners. And they sought, uh, they sought, they probably, uh, they uh, did not want to mistreat uh, the uh, foreigners. They did not uh, intend to uh, mistreat us. It was, uh, it was uh, surprising because they did not uh, want to uh, hurt uh, foreigners. At that time, I was uh, 31, 32, or 33 years of age. I got used to living in the countryside, but uh, for other elderly um, French also, at that time, I was uh, considered myself used. I thought that the Khmer Rouge was very uh, courteous. Uh, they courteous in the ways that the Khmer Rouge uh, considered uh, to be courteous at that time. Question. Uh, 
Besides the uh, French embassy, uh, to your knowledge, do you know that there were were, were there any gathering in other embassy compounds, si other foreign embassies a compounds, other than French embassy? Si des, si des sont ailleurs, Response. Dans no, there was no Response. any other uh, embassy uh, yeah. at that time. Uh, well, uh, there was a, a Soviet embassy. Uh, back then it was called Soviet. Uh, embassy. De, de uh, they came to uh, Phnom Penh by uh, air, airplane on the 16th of April, avion, and they avril. actually put a signboard uh, on the uh, embassy. Uh, they, the uh, signboard read, We Communist uh, Brotherhood. Uh, so we Some the Khmer Rouge uh, went to the uh, Soviet embassy uh, compound, uh, they the opened the uh, fridge uh, and they the took uh, the uh, eggs uh, from the fridge and then they dropped it one after another. And after then another. Uh, they told the Soviet uh, counterpart that dit, you were the uh, uh, a fake uh, communist, you were not good communist. So you see, We had uh, the uh, eggs, and then this egg, uh, we should not eat it now because we have to uh, wait until these uh, eggs uh, hatch, and then they get the hens, and then we will get more hens or more chicken uh, to eat. So, pour ensuite donner du poulet, comme ça, il y aura, il y aura plus de poulet à manger. Actually, uh, they I can, can, uh, 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 can for East uh, Germany, uh, they consider themselves uh, communist. They, they actually uh, try to implicate the French. Uh, they said uh, that uh, they were uh, mistreated by the French, uh, so on and so forth, and then they hate uh, the French. Uh, but later on, it was not an issue. The matter was uh, sorted out. Later on, there was a French couple. They were considered pure communists. Qui se considérait comme, qui était considéré comme des communistes purs. They came along with Martini to somewhere around Pochentong. Um, Martinique. Tini is an anarchist, and they are a, a strong believer in communism. The Khmer Rouge uh, said uh, that uh, you are not uh, the a revolutionist, uh, so you should go to the French embassy. So they took uh, the two couple uh, to the French embassy. They praise uh, the Khmer Rouge revolution. Deux. At that time, the Khmer Rouge uh, threat, uh, threatened them uh, uh, with force, uh, saying that uh, if they did not uh, keep silent, uh, they would be hit. Question. Mr. François Ponceau, in your observation and uh, assessment, uh, what were the um, uh, refugees, uh, I mean, both foreign nationals and Cambodian nationals, aside from the uh, seven super traitors and uh, the uh, you know, after after the uh, seven super traitors were taken away, Après, as well as the Cambodian uh, men with French wives who were uh, who had to leave the embassy compound, uh, how many left uh, in the embassy? Française, après qu'ils soient partis, combien de réfugiés, tant étrangers que Cambodiens, sont-ils demeurés à l'ambassade? Response. Uh, finally, there were around 500 uh, people left, both uh, Cambodian nationals and personnes. foreigners, 500, uh, around 500 left. And then there were 500 more uh, 
uh, refugees uh, of Pakistani national. They Il came along with uh, Cao Sopir. It is the uh, organization. They uh, got the uh, foreigners to come and take refuge uh, in the French embassy. Question. Just now, you also said uh, that uh, there were uh, trucks taking uh, foreigners from the French embassy uh, to the uh, Cambodian-Thai uh, border. I would like to expand from this. Uh, when you talk about a fleet of trucks taking foreigners uh, out of the French embassy, was it uh, was the fleet of trucks uh, organized by the Khmer Rouge uh, soldier? And can you describe the uh, the first day of departure of uh, these foreign nationals from the French embassy? Response. Uh, the first day they left the embassy was on the 30th of April, and then the second wave of uh, transport was on the 7th of May. And then later there was around 20, uh, 3rd or 24, uh, François Bizot was the negotiators with the Khmer Rouge, and he told me that uh, there had been meetings with the leaders of the Khmer Rouge. I did not know which level of the Khmer Rouge cadres uh, he met and negotiated with, but he told uh, me that the government of France uh, agreed to prepare the uh, airplanes in order to uh, take uh, the uh, foreign nationals uh, out of uh, the French embassy. Uh, and then the Khmer Rouge was uh, very angry. He was very, uh, very uh, upset. Uh, at that time, he said that uh, he uh, did not uh, uh, they did not uh, agree with the means of transport from the uh, imperialist uh, means of transport. So they decided to um, take them out by the trucks on the 30th of April, uh, particularly those uh, who were vulnerable to uh, the Khmer Rouge, for example, the CIA leaders, uh, ladies who, are, who were pregnant at that time, or elderly people, they had to leave first. And then on the first day, there was no information. The second day, there was no information either. And then uh, we thought that probably the Khmer Rouge uh, had already killed them, or one day we would be killed. So on the fourth day, I heard the information from those uh, people that they had already reached uh, Pol Pot. And then on the 7th of May, on this particular juncture, I would like to uh, say some words of praise for the Khmer Rouge. Uh, they did not ask any question at all. They did not even bother to check a uh, passport. Uh, there was an association. We uh, had a certain experience uh, with the communists when we got to uh, Hanoi and Beijing uh, in 1949 in Beijing, and then communists in 1954. The uh, Vietnamese communist and uh, Beijing communist uh, checked everything. They searched everything, even a small note uh, in your pocket. Uh, they would uh, seriously checked and they would even uh, probably put the person in jail as well for keeping uh, a small note uh, in the pocket. But the Khmer Rouge uh, did not do that. As a matter of fact, the Khmer Rouge uh, did not ask us even a word, not even about our passport. The Khmer, the Khmer Rouge did not even bother to look at the passport uh, we held. And then at that time, we thought that we could probably save some of the Khmer uh, Cambodians uh, who stayed with us. The President, thank you. The President. You mentioned about the evacuation of the foreigners, the Vous first batch on the 30th of April, 1975, and you said uh, you also left uh, Phnom Penh Embassy on the 7th of May, 1975. Was that the last batch already when you were being sent out? Vous avez été expulsé. Est-ce que vous faisiez partie du dernier groupe Response. Yes, Réponse. it was. Effectivement. 
and I had to leave uh, the key for the embassy J'ai dû to comrade les clés de Niam, au camarade Niam, who was uh, the head uh, of the division conquering the eastern part of de la the city. Qui comrade Niam la est de la told ville. me Le camarade Niam to leave Phnom Penh for Paris. And after the country had been cleaned, Paris, he said, he would warmly welcome me back. Que le pays aurait été nettoyé, il m'y accueillerait à nouveau chaleureusement. Uh, there was no foreigner Après in cela, Cambodia. Il n'y avait the plus d'étrangers au Cambodia. During the time of the evacuation of the foreigners out of the French embassy, were Lors de l'expulsion des these people escorted de by soldiers de France, or armed men? Est-ce que des hommes and armés did ou des you soldats ont escorté les expulsés cars Est-ce que vous avez uh, voyagé en voiture depuis Phnom Penh jusqu'à Poipet Réponse. Réponse. We wanted to travel on foot because we would like Nous voulions to voyager know à pied. what or the situation the people were living in the countryside but we were not allowed to walk de vie dans uh, la we had nous pas to take the vehicles à nous à pied. but we did nous not see any dans des véhicules. so any nous n'avons pas vu âme qui people vive. Personne. we took the GMC truck nous avons pris des and the Khmer soldiers had to remain standing Les on the track Khmer with us. And we ont dû rester had debout to cross dans several le camion avec nous. creeks, nous avons dû bridges, des ruisseaux, rivers. Des ponts, des rivières. And in Kampong Chenang, we w- were stopped Kampong and Kampong Chenang, we had nous avons our nice meal. Un temps d'arrêt, By nous avons pris un bon repas. We reached Vers 8 heures, nous sommes arrivés dans la province One of the de bridges, uh, broke and L'un uh, des ponts had to stop était détruit. There for a while. Nous avons donc dû nous arrêter à cet endroit. Les Khmer Rouge like, nous ont laissé cueillir des fruits si nous le voulions, mais nous n'avons pas osé fruits. le faire. And then we were received by Nous avons tourists, uh, bus. été embarqués uh, dans des bus de tourisme, un bus pouvant accueillir uh, we environ 80 personnes. By Nous avons été accueillis s- more Khmer Rouge who were par older than the previous, uh, d'autres Khmer Rouge who qui étaient plus âgés que uh, ceux qui us. nous avaient escortés jusque-là. And from that on, we were with à only one soldier per vehicle. Il n'y avait qu'un soldat par véhicule. And I told uh, I, 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 a, a man on the track uh, told Dans me, camion, although he was a soldier, he said he would like uh, to go to France as well. Qui m'a dit que and I could tell from that moment that even a cadre from the Khmer Rouge uh, clique uh, also was afraid que même of uh, des de la clique des Khmer Rouge avait peur. The president, uh, thank you. According to le your president. best uh, recollection, Merci. D'après vos souvenirs. On what date uh, did you leave Quel jour border avez-vous checkpoint? franchi le poste frontière The president, uh, Mr. F- uh, witness, could you please hold on? Veuillez attendre Response. que votre micro soit allumé. I don't Réponse. remember whether I left Phnom Penh on the 7 of plus si May or I reached Penh the border on the 7 si of May. But it was on that day. And I had to carry some uh, bags uh, or suitcase uh, belonging to a consular official. And I was smiling. And people did not even bother to ask me any question at the checkpoint. Moi and je I had uh, been allowed to leave the country easily. J'ai été autorisé à quitter le A Frenchman, Mr. Laporte, 
who has passed away and who got married to a Monsieur Laporte, Cambodian qui est woman, et qui était marié à une Cambodienne, and, uh, he had to leave his wife behind. a dû abandonner sa femme derrière lui. Question. When Question. you reached the border, did you see Khmer Rouge uh, being very vigilant or being on gas at the checkpoint? D'après ce que vous avez constaté, Khmer Rouge était vigilant, est-ce qu'il montait la garde soldiers. Il y avait très peu de soldats. La situation It était peace. très calme. Et je pouvais voir que c'était un lieu de place. No soldiers, Il n'y avait uh, pas de soldats. Were seen. Tout était calme. The president, thank you. I have the final Le question président. for you. Merci, j'en viens à ma dernière And, question. And uh, I should have asked you already uh, déjà dû vous la poser. a while ago, but I would like Quoi to ask soit, you now, Mr. Poncho. You Poncho. said about uh, the peace negotiations between de paix the leaders of the entre les dirigeants. Um, the Republican regime, and you mentioned about some that would that. D'autres parties. Vous avez parlé de In your testimony, you emphasized that uh, there was a form of negotiation underway. Can you please tell the chamber how did you place. learn about uh, this information? Comment l'avez-vous su? And how many people? from the Republican side uh, who engaged in the negotiation and how many people from the Khmer Rouge side uh, were part in this uh, uh, agreement and where did it happen? À quel endroit le cas échéant, Response. un tel accord a-t-il été Actually, passé there was no such a Réponse. Negotiation. En fait, il n'y a pas eu de May pour parler. Si John would like the soldiers si John to surrender, voulait que les soldats the Republican se soldiers to, um, rendent, il voulait que les soldats de la République mais no déposent des armes. Il n'y a Some eu aucune négociation. Some Some uh, a everyone to a conseillé à tout le monde to Work together to de s'unir, de collaborer pour la reconstruction But, uh, du pays. Later on, there was an announcement Mais par la by, suite, uh, someone. I believe that that person could have been the, uh, the people from the Lonnells regime qui who were wearing black clothes and sent uh, to negotiate uh, with uh, the Khmer Rouge. A été envoyé But uh, avec then les Khmer he was Rouge. stopped immediately when he was uh, grabbing the microphone because the Khmer Rouge micro. said there was no form of negotiation at all. The Khmer Rouge won possible. the victory and they were the victors and there was no negotiation. If there was, there could have been long before uh, si the, battery, uh, the, the victory was won. The president, uh, could you also tell where this uh, event happened? Le président, où ces Response. It took place Réponse. at the Ministry of uh, Information, Au as I de was told. It was uh, near the railway Soit station. I think it perhaps happened there, because Je pense que I ça also a heard that là. long Borate J'ai aussi entendu dire que Borate s'était rendu. J'ai aussi entendu que Long Borate a été exécuté, mais c'est simplement une chose dont j'ai entendu parler. Uh, thank you, Mr. Pancho. I would like Merci, to know Pancho. whether fellow judges Est-ce of the que les autres juges to ont des questions, questions à poser the, uh, witness. aux témoins uh, Judge Lavergne, Juge Lavergne, je vous en prie. Merci, yes, le thank Président. you, Mr. President. Donc, uh, I am Jean-Marc Judge Lavergne. Jean-Marc Lavergne, and I have a few questions to put to you, Father Poncho. Si I would like to ask you if it's possible to lentement. speak a bit more slowly. Interpreters, interpreters are, in the, are in the booth, qui, uh, and they must uh, um, Et, uh, complete their si, task, uh, and if you speak too fast, it's going to become extremely difficult. Uh, uh, 
crois comprendre so aussi que I also believe des that des the interpreters que, euh, are requesting that langue. we use only one single euh, language. Je ne sais pas si, euh, ils que I don't know que le if they only want to use French for us to communicate, cas, but in any case, I think what we should avoid is that en tout cas, vous, moi, you je don't pas, mais à la fois en français speak in en French Khmer. and in Khmer at the same time. Donc, so, vous êtes libre, encore une fois, of course, you're free to use the language you wish, mais, but euh, um, en tous les cas avec un débit, euh, please speak lent. slow. Voilà. Thank you. So, I indeed have a few questions to put to you, and I would like to revisit uh, your personal history. Vous avez, uh, you explained à, à to the court that you arrived in Cambodia for a while ago, in 1965. Uh, and prior to that, uh, you had studied, I imagine, in order uh, to become a priest. And I also understand that you had been a soldier and that uh, you took part in difficult events because I understand that you were a paratrooper during the Algerian War. So can you confirm this? Je, je crois que votre microphone, il faut, il faut, là aussi, il faut Please, vraiment faire attention. Oui. Pay attention to the microphone, because... In France, when you were in France, in France, when you were in France, in France, when we are 20 years old, en we France, were obliged to join the army, and I was conscripted. On est enrôlé dans l'armée. J'ai donc été appelé sous les armes. to a parachute unit J'appartenais à une unité de parachutistes dans l'armée régulière. And I had to serve in Algeria for two and a half years. J'ai dû servir en Algérie pendant deux ans et demi. And from then on, I started to hate war. Et dès ce moment-là, j'ai commencé à détester la guerre, source de destruction. S'agissant de votre regarding Parcours au Cambodge. Your experience in Cambodia, and I know that this I'd like you to confirm this, that when you arrived, you started working in Phnom Penh, and you were living on Choi Chong Va Peninsula, in, and you, you were working in a community called Mot Krasas. I'm, I apologize uh, for my uh, bad pronunciation in Khmer, but, but I also understood that you went to Stung Treng, vous étiez and ensuite, that uh, you were vous vos fonctions à Batambang, then went to work in Batambang, à Kdolle, and at Kdolle, de Kampong Cham, which is north of Kampong Cham, Que vous avez ensuite and then en même. you worked in Kompong Cham itself, et vous êtes and à then Phnom Penh. you arrived in Phnom Penh. Est -ce que, uh, ces informations sont Is et this est -ce que vous true? Nous and can uh, you tell us quand que vous étiez à Batambang, when you were in Batambang que vous and when à you were in Kompong Cham? Vous êtes parti de Kompong and Cham? why you left Kompong Cham? Respond. Um, person who was a governor and I uh, a bishop rather and we had to learn Khmer for three years Il y avait là un évêque, six months il fallait apprendre and le we Khmer. moved to Troy Chongwa location near Pastor À proximité de Trot Chang Wang, près de l'Institut Pasteur. And I spoke French a lot. And we went to the paddy fields, to the countryside, Nous sommes allés living with the peasants. For two paysans. months, I Nous was there. Deux mois. And then I came to Phnom Penh in 1966, in Je September, to receive Phnom Penh en septembre 66. someone 
and I had uh, oh, later okay. on moved to Kampung Cham Ensuite, to continue learning Khmer. And at Stung Trang, I heard Trang, uh, that the Americans already started bombing the, Meko, uh, the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Que les Américains avaient commencé à bombarder la piste au Chimim. Ho Chi Minh was about 80 to 100 kilometers uh, far away from Stung Trang, but I could Cette piste était hear à 80 ou 100 bombs de being Trang dropped by the Americans. About one million tons bombes. of bombs were dropped. Largué par les And Américains. Mr. Kissinger, according de de to the documents, Monsieur Kissinger, we read d'après les documents uh, that were exposed uh, in public Yesterday, uh, last year, Kissinger asked uh, Nixon Kissinger, to donc, use uh, atomic a bomb l'autorisation, l'autorisation to l'arme destroy and block pour Ho Chi Minh Trail. La piste Ho Chi Minh et la rendre inutilisable. At that time, some died. Sehanouk, Samdek Sihanouk, perhaps intentionally or not intentionally, from 1965, allowed the Chinese weapons and Soviet weapons being transported all the way to the port of Sihanouk and being transported from there to Nek Luang and to Stung Trang. I talked uh, about this because this is si uh, what I saw c'est parce que j'en ai été témoin. people who, were good, who are good at historians uh, could also challenge this but uh, King Norodong Sihanouk Uh, whether he should uh, be accountable for this or not, it's up to uh, the historians. Because I saw truckloads of si weapons non, being transported soit, from Nek Luang to Swai Riang, from Nek Luang to Memot, and from Nek Luang to Stung Trang. And I, on one occasion, saw an overturned track uh, uh, filled uh, with weapons. Vu un camion qui s'était renversé. I et dont le changement uh, répandu par the province at about 6:30 and I saw also saw je the North Vietnamese soldiers. la province vers 6h30 et j'ai aussi, je voyais aussi des soldats vietnamiens. J'ai un petit peu de mal parce que I have a bit of trouble euh, here. Pas été compris dans la traduction mais j'ai un petit peu de mal à comprendre I have a bit quelle année vous faites référence et je voudrais to, qu'on revienne aussi à la question que like vous ai posée qui était de savoir the question that I asked you, which is when Batambang, were you in Batambang and when were you in Kampong Cham and why you left Kampong Cham Respond Réponse In 1966 and 1977, I, I saw the North uh, Vietnamese uh, soldiers, and I also saw uh, weapons being transported uh, from uh, Nhat Luang in 1977. 87, I went 87, to Batambang. I asked that I be sent to entend. Batambang because we, can, we could speak Khmer very well and à it à would do a lot of Khmer, good uh, for us uh, to go to Batambang. And que we à knew that uh, in Batambang there were some Nous Christian uh, communities uh, from chrétienne. even back in 1972, so I was there to also teach uh, Christians. Je suis allé Christians sur place, enseigner le christianisme. Back then. The number was 1792. Corrige l'interprète. Then, I was asked to go to Knoller. 
On m'a dit d'aller à Dolo, dans la province de Batambang. One and a half year. J'y suis resté un an. Then moved to Kampung Cham. Ensuite, je suis allé à Kampung Cham. It was on the 15th of August. C'était le 15 août. When I was in Kampung Cham, and I remained in the province until the je war broke out. Je suis resté dans la province jusqu'au début de la guerre. When King Norodom Sihanouk was uh, toppled down on the seventh. Or 18th of March, uh, 1970. On the 29th, people came from the east, uh, crossing from Kampung Cham to Phnom Penh, who were met uh, by the Lonol soldiers and they were executed. Hundreds of them were killed. And Lonol government also executed innocent Vietnamese people and crimes of genocide was already committed in 1970 when about 2,000 people were executed. The Lonel government soldiers killed an armed and innocent Vietnamese civilians. With the bishop, we met Mr. In Tam, who was the Kampung Cham's governor, and I asked him for permission to bring the Christian Community Association and Christians uh, to come back uh, to Kampung Cham at Phnom Bang Chai, rather Ang Chai. We were bombed. Nous avons été and bombardés. when I reached the river banks, I saw en the South au bord de Vietnamese la troops who asked me sud uh, what nationality I was he, uh, they asked whether I was American and I said I was French and uh, at that time I noted that people were listening to the speech delivered by Prince Nordam Sihanouk from Bay Pekin Prince Norodom Sihanouk appealed to Norodom all Sihanouk the people in Cambodia to enter Maki jungle. People did not know what Maki jungle was at that time. À l'époque, les gens ne savaient pas ce qu'était le Maki. And uh, when I went to receive some Christians, I was all so fired at, et à ce je me suis and fait I was dessus. warned not to go to Kampong Cham again, because I, if I did so, then I would uh, also uh, be caught uh, in uh, the battlefield. Que je risquais d'être pris dans les combats. So, I did not take the boat uh, to Kampong Cham. Je n'ai donc I pas pris le bateau pour aller à Kampong Cham. J'ai pris une motocyclette. At that time, I was warned that today I was lucky because I was not killed, but if I kept uh, de ne pas me faire breaching ce this uh, si rule or order, then I would end up being killed uh, on another occasion. Par me faire tuer. C'est peut-être trop compliqué pour it's vous. Est-ce que c'est so important que vous compreniez tout? Is it important for you to understand everything? Vous savez que nous well, avons you know, une période de compétence uh, qui est très limitée. Is that our jurisdiction is very limited. The rest interests us oui. as Donc context. On ne va peut-être pas entrer so dans, dans, dans des détails we très go poussés. Into detail, but pour simply confirmation just, uh, et pour le, le, le record, uh, j'ai uh, compris que vous étiez arrivé à Batambang en 1967, que vous étiez ensuite parti à Kampong Cham, et que vous en êtes parti en 1970, après les événements que vous venez de nous décrire, est-ce que c'est bien exact Les hitmen, 
bien. Euh, Effectivement. Donc, par la suite, vous And allez then, euh, euh, résider à Phnom Penh. J'ai cru comprendre que vous étiez en charge d'un foyer d'étudiants et que vous aviez également une mission and particulière and you had a specific mission, qui était de traduire la Bible the Bible en langue khmer. khmer. Est-ce que vous me dites si c'était exact Est-ce que vous pouvez me dire s'il y avait une raison if you could tell me euh, if there was a very specific pour reason entreprendre ces travaux de traduction de la Bible en khmer Response. I received a students who came to study because there was nowhere else they could uh, stay. There were a lot of students from the countryside who came to study in the city, uh, in, in, in the, this location, and I received about 50 people. Or students, and I translated the Bible into Khmer because I believe that after we were expelled from the country, we could leave behind the materials for our Christians. I did not translate the Bible back then, but many other documents to allow a community that would be deprived of our help to live on their Ça, own. Vous plaît, mon père. Please, Je Father, I think it's really, really important that we avoid uh, changes uh, in languages uh, uh, during uh, your um, testimony. So if you want to speak in Khmer, please continue speaking in Khmer. Voilà. Donc, uh, So, ce que j'ai compris, et vous si c'est exact, c'est qu'en fait, ces so travaux de traduction de la Bible en Khmer avaient Bible notamment pour raison le fait qu'il était nécessaire de prévoir l'avenir et euh, la possibilité que les prêtres missionnaires ne puissent plus rester uh, au Cambodge et qu'il fallait que les chrétiens Khmer puissent se débrouiller par eux-mêmes. Et c'est bien cela. Khmer chrétiens devraient devoir se débrouiller par eux-mêmes. Effectivement. Alors, juste un petit retour en arrière. Well, like uh, on a parlé de la destitution du, du prince uh, Nordom Sianouk en mars 1970, les événements tragiques qui se sont suivis. Uh, Mais uh, est-ce que vous pouvez nous dire si pour autant, pour une partie de la population, however, uh, cette destitution n'avait pas été aussi éventuellement porteuse d'espoir Est-ce qu'il n'y avait pas l'espoir que des choses puissent changer Tampet, mien chun chiet khmae do tie krup. Response. La chiet chiet. Réponse. All Cambodian people from all walks of life. We could also see that some people supported us, uh, some didn't, or uh, some supported the, Il y avait des gens uh, the leaders, some qui hated uh, les King Norodom Sihanouk when some certain. didn't. In 1967, Sihanouk, non. King Norodom Sihanouk, um, en 67 displayed no, the Sianuk. Apsara movie and people didn't like that. Uh, so people started to hate him from then because because uh, that the movie depicts some kind of corruption in Phnom Penh Paul didn't like it. Et Paul, les, 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 And les gens pas uh, a teacher, as I remember, bought uh, a can of beer to celebrate uh, the end of the range of King Norodom Sihanouk. Uh, they celebrated when King Sihanouk was toppled down. And the situation was uh, changing. And la révolution cosmique. Peasants from the beginning supported 
Prince Norodam Senuk, but intellectuals in Phnom Penh, the majority of them didn't support him. Est-ce qu'on peut dire que c'était là aussi une des différences qui va marquer la division entre les villes et les campagnes Oui, c'est une des parties qui a trop l'expliquée. Pontai en pirouin d'un fatia chun piti krong. But concerning the evacuation of people out of the city, à propos de l'évacuation des villes, we must know that Cambodian people. Before the colonial era, particularly during the Ang Korean period, or sometime in 1623, when Annam established a barrack in Prenoko, then Annam and Siem were fighting against one another on Cambodian territory. At that time, there was no cities, and Cambodian people. Je vous arrête. Mais à l'époque, il n'y avait pas de peuple cambodien. I'm afraid I have to interrupt you, Father Poncho. Attendez, attendez. Je vous arrête un petit peu parce que je pense qu'il y a des problèmes de traduction. I need to interrupt you because there are some clarifications needed. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that you're referring to the Funan. Oh, alors je. J'ai compris. No, then that was a misunderstanding on my part. From Annam in 1623, Annam at that time took control of Prenoko or Saigon, currently Saigon, the southern city of Vietnam in the present day. At that time, Annam soldier and the Siem soldier were fighting against each other on Cambodian territory. At that time, there was no city. And the cities that were established, then the French control, and then it was called the French colonialism. And when the French handed over independence to Cambodia, there were some Chinese. There were two hundred, two thousand, and six thousand two hundred Chinese and a few thousand Vietnamese as well at that time. And they uh, have their own uh, ethnic groups uh, aside from the uh, mainstream Cambodian uh, people. There are around 60% uh, Vietnamese and 10% Chinese. And the Khmer Rouge uh, consider uh, some people as uh, compradors. Uh, they uh, treated uh, with uh, the people. Uh, they bought the uh, vegetables and crops from the people uh, produced in the countryside. So the Khmer Rouge that follow Marxist-Leninist line, they wanted to uh, eliminate uh, the city and they want the country uh, to be uh, equal. They want to eliminate uh, social injustice. Uh, they want everyone to be equal. Uh, they did not want to mistreat uh, people. Uh, but we have to understand the rationale behind this. Uh, the President, uh, thank you, uh, Judge, and thank you, Mr. François Bonso. The time is now appropriate for lunch break. The court is now uh, adjourned, and we will resume at 1.30 uh, this afternoon. Court officer, please uh, arrange uh, the waiting uh, room for the witness uh, to rest during uh, lunch time, and then uh, please uh, have him back in this courtroom uh, before 1.30 this afternoon. Security guards are uh, instructed to uh, bring Mr. Kiel Sampon to the holding Veuillez cell downstairs and have him back in this courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon. The court is now adjourned.